lining up with scripture. And us as women of God, uh, we have a great job to do in trying to hold the home together. And um, as we mirror family and friends um, and prepare food at this joyous time, let's uh, not forget how we as women need to uh, be in as far as our inward parts and as Christians, as, as children of God. Uh, we are to be the pillar to our man of God, to our husbands, and we are to support them, at, you know, as good in good times and in bad. Um, we are to be diligent with the work of our hands and not slowful and a servant to all. Let's continue reading uh, verses 12. She will do him good all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willing, willingly with her hands. So as, as far as the trimmings on that turkey or as, as a part, as you put that pie in the oven, remember that your children and your husband are appreciative of your efforts. If by some chance that you are upset or tired, remember to take some some time to yourself this holiday season so that you'll be able to keep up uh, and uh, be ready for the journey. Uh, listen to someone who knows. <laughs> Most of the time, uh, the holidays can be very, very, uh, very difficult. And seeing people that you haven't spoken to in years can be stressful. And so, and some people take on even a little bit of depression, trying to keep up with the fads and the things of the holiday season. Um, we have to keep keep the mind of Christ. And we, we know that we have the mind of Christ. Therefore, walk in him, root it up and build up in him. So let our, our conversation should be gentle and kind and, and meek. I remember <laughs> that the meek shall inherit the earth. Um and so let's talk about it for a minute. It's going to take the peace of God to get through the holiday season. Um, the next couple of passages in the text kind of seem to be outdated uh, for today's woman. But <clears throat> because she's somewhat, um, you know, she, she's somewhat getting off work, coming in to a messy house, kids from school, very cluttered, no time for her husband. But remember the next couple of verses, verse 28, it says, Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, he praises her. And so, you know, I know that's going to take some doing, and it seems like we can never measure quite up to that. But with the Holy Spirit, we're able to do all things. And so we want to talk a little bit about the virtuous woman and how that her mind needs to be on Christ. Even though she's preparing, she has to take some time and prepare and have some time, even if it's not the holiday season and just the regular hustle and bustle of life. We have to take time for Christ. And, uh, you know, uh, the peace of God, it takes the peace of God. You first have to have the peace of God within you in order to uh, have peace with uh, your family or friends or uh, whoever you're in contact with. So let's keep in mind today as we go through and talk about the virtuous woman, how that her mind needs to be on Christ and she needs to have had some time with Christ, getting up maybe earlier, earlier. And I know it takes some doing with small kids, but to get up earlier in the morning and just have some time uh, away from the family, just to spend some time with God, to read a couple of scriptures, to pray and to ask God to... Um, help you through the day. Um, and that's just good, not just for women, but men too. Uh, and, and if you can, uh, if your husband's willing, uh, get up and pray together as a family. That also helps. But just for you to have some time alone with God is so very important this holiday season because it's going to help frame and shape the world that you are getting ready to embark. You know, because it, like I said, it can be very, very stressful and we need to remember that we're still the daughters of God. We're still the children of God. And we have to have some peace about ourselves. And we have to know just when to say, what to say, 
and how to be silent when we need to be. Um, it says her children will rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, he, you know, praises her. Um, these verses seem to be a little uh, unrealistic. And I mean, do you ever get a thank you from all the work you do? Probably not likely. It's really important uh, to remember that we work unto God in the general scope of things. God will reward you. Sometimes uh, the praise of family or your husband or your children never come, especially not verbally. But it comes very, very much later. Um, sometimes the kids will grow up and uh, they will recognize that you were a good mom and that you and you'll hear it. You'll see it. You'll see you see it with their lives. You'll hear it. Um, you know, them give you praise after they're grown up. The word of God says, teach a child the way he should go. And when he is old, he won't depart from it. It doesn't necessarily mean that while he's growing up, he won't depart. But when he gets a little older and realizes just what you went through, they'll begin to um, praise you and thank you for what you have done. Uh, it might be, like I said, very, very much later. But remember, just the, the rewards and stuff are going to come from God. It's not going to necessarily come from your family or your husband or, or, or your, your significant other, but it's going to come from God. And so we have to keep that in mind today. Um, when, uh, when our kids are grown and see the wonderful Christian mom that they have, they'll be so proud. And the husband, the same way, he'll see it and notice that, you know, when they don't have you around, when they don't have them you around, sometimes you may go off and take a trip uh, or go uh, be away for a little while from the family. And then you come back to a house and you looking at the house and say, oh, my God, look at this place. It's a wreck. Well, they'll recognize that it's mom that kept order in the house and not that father doesn't help. And, you know, and thank God for some of you women, you may have a husband that's willing to help you out and help you to take out the trash and help you to do and even cook with you and for you. And that's truly a blessing if you have a Christian husband. But some of us that are uh, embarking upon uh, family and have been married a uh, good while to the same man, sometimes they're not willing to do. Uh, and that's OK. We're not bashing men today. We're just talking about the virtuous woman and how it is a woman's responsibility to hold the inside of the home together uh, and do it well. Uh, we have to remember that we are all God's building and God is molding us up and, and making us uh, what he would have us to be. He is the potter and we are the clay. So if your family, uh, you know, if you're having difficulties in your family or maybe your husband and you are not getting along, just be of a quiet spirit and be kind and be nice because this is what a virtuous woman would do. She watches her words. And, you know, if there's a button that you know that, that, that you can push that your husband just whatever it is that you do that gets on your husband's nerve, don't push that button. You know, it's going to bother him. You know, um, just just be of a quiet spirit and do the things that you know that he loves. And that's going to make the world of difference. And he's going to begin to notice you and praise you for the things that you are doing. And above all, just look your absolute, uh, try to look your absolute best um, uh, during the holiday season. I remember when my kids were um, older, uh, I mean younger, it was uh, such a, a task trying to keep the household together. And uh, I remember when uh, it was it was where it was Christmas time and I just had so much to do. It seemed like I had no time for myself. The kids were really small. We're talking you know, five and six, nine and, you know, 10. And it was just hard uh, to keep the household together. But God made the way. And, you know, even though I was a single mom uh, trying to take care, of, you know, the holidays and make sure everything was so uh, together, God still stepped in and he helped me along the way. He helped me to be that virtuous woman, despite um, not really having that uh, companionship that I really needed. Um, and so remember, let's be, you know, let, let your outward appearance not be of the braiding of the hair, but of the inward spirit, the inward man, the Holy Spirit will help you as children of godly women, virtuous women, to be discreet, chaste keepers at home, good, obedient to your own husbands, that the word of God 
be not blasphemed or blamed, as they might say. Praise God. And this, of course, is not an easy assignment. However, it is a good, godly assignment. The benefits of a the, the benefits of a virtuous woman are just endless. I mean, the more I think about it, the more I look at my kids now, they are uh, grown. And uh, I thank God that I was able to get raise them up and get them out, you know, of the house. And so it is a blessing to look back. And as a woman, a virtuous woman, you will be able to look back and, and say, hey, I think I did a good job. You'll be able to pat your own self on the back. But remember, you did it unto God. Eventually, the Christian wife will satisfy the godly husband or the husband, period. And God will help with all tasks. And uh, and that means out of the heart, you know, God will help you win that man's heart and keep him uh, and help. And, and, and possibly even uh, he'll see the struggle you're having so much until he'll begin to help you with your task. Um, but remember, the job of the family really uh, lies with the wife or with the woman. And, and again, the message today is not to try to make it more difficult for a woman to be virtuous, uh, but to help her to understand that in these trying times that the holy and a virtuous woman's job is still to remain hers. Uh, you have the job to do uh, and raise your children and be a good wife to your husband and the fear of God and the admiration of God and the obedience to your own husbands and unto the Lord, as unto the Lord, you know, and reverencing your husband. Um, again, we uh, as children of God need to be just so. Um, we will talk more about husbands in another broadcast, but well, I want to thank God for this that God has laid upon my heart regarding the virtuous woman. And uh, yeah, I just thank God for this and nearing the holidays. And let's just have a word of prayer and, and ask God to, to bless you during the holiday season. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we do thank you. We come before you. We ask you to touch the listener out there today, the virtuous woman, the women that are listening under the sound of my voice and their husbands today. We ask you, God, to, to, to unite the home and make it a peaceful uh, environment for them to live. God, help them to, to, to not only finish the task, but God, be a he head of the game and be in preparation to have a kind and gentle and quiet spirit so that they will be looked upon as good and godly women of God. And God, we thank you today for the message. We thank you, God, for allowing me to come into the homes today. We ask you to bless us this holiday season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I do want to thank you for listening today. And remember, the book, The Four Faces of God, should be coming out shortly at the end of this year. And I'm hoping that you will be able to go on the website and take a look at it at BibleVisionMinistries.org. And uh, it'll be there for uh, ordering for any love gift amount uh, to this ministry. And remember that the power of the kingdom of God is in you.